going guys, so in today's video we're going to be having a look at part 5 of what's in the box segment and today we're going to be having a look at some comics that were published back I think back in 27, uh, 2018 I'm pretty sure and we'll start it off with the four classics Lee Falk recreations Queen here it is Queen Pura the perfect Mer mermaids of the mellow straits treasure of the skull cave and the intruders now in this comic it because it was published back a couple of years ago its number is 1795 and in this actual sleeve I have two comics one that is 1785 yeah, one that is 17.95 and one that's 17.89. So we have another three classic Lee Falk recreations. We have the Tiger Girl. We have, I think, oh, Lady Luck Gang and something else. So there's actually three, and both the covers are actually done by Romando Felmain who, as everyone knows, is one of my absolute favourite artists of all time. Now, the next book we'll be having a look at is one of the books that started back off in, I think, 2017 or 2018. Um, and that book is the first three parts of the 22nd Phantom Saga. Now, this started, I'm guessing, back in 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, it started in 2017 because we, a couple of books back, last part, we had a look at the 2017 annual. So, yeah, it's got a three-part series in it. And in 2020, we actually saw the next four parts of this series, which in a My Collections episode, very well, in a couple of years, we'll be having a look at those. And also last year, we actually had a live stream of those four comics. And they, let me tell you, the covers on these three covers and the covers on the four part series is absolute magnificent and these three part these covers were done by Jamie Johnson who is a great very great artist um, the next comic we actually have is a cold fire warshippers a cover by Glenn Lubston you can tell because he likes to do his phantoms in grey sort of tone of the phantom costume I haven't read that one for a while. We have the Baron Khan Sajjan plus an SOS Phantom the Pirate Raiders and the cover is done by Shane Foley who recently like next year no not next year next week we will be actually seeing some Shane Foley artworks on the latest Phantom comic. Now, I talked about this uh, last week on the news segment on Saturday, and I was just like, I was just saying, because it's going to be a Matt Kime story, and the artist of it will be, I think, Shane Foley, and the outlines would become of uh, Matt Kime. And I found this out on Chronicle Chamber, which is a great website, great website to find all your phantom uh, facts and knowledge and information. And I was just saying to myself, it's a great thing that they're doing, getting Matt Kime and Shane Foley and all the other artists and all the other artists that have gone on to make phantom covers for few publications and it's just a great thing that they're doing like bringing out new stories when people are getting sick and tired of the old ones which some people are some people aren't they're just nostalgia um, the next story we have the Pillagist and the cover is done by Romando Felming once again 
and this is one of your stories where we actually get to see a lot of boxing and fighting. The next story, next two stories actually, is from the 2017 Supernova edition and the normal regular issue, The Phantom Cult. And also has part one of The Phantom by Gaslight, part one. And it's also done by Salvaluto and his colorist, I think, Matt Ozzy or something. The Supernova issue for that one, which in the last, what, in the last, uh, well, this year or last year, I've been doing some, like, um, some reboarding, some re-comics and re, um, like, re-bagging and making sure my comics are in tip-top condition. And we have the Supernova edition. This part, this... Um, this artwork right here, I've actually got up in a, um, poster up here, up there. And it's a good poster done by Antonio Lemos. As I've said, it is one of my favourite artists. And again, that is The Phantom Cult and part one by, part one of The Phantom by Gaslight. We have The Mystery of the Ivy Crown, a beautiful cover done by jo Joan Boyts. We have another three part series of The Pirates of the Red Dragon. Now The Pirates of the Red Dragon is being reprinted in the... Uh, in the Dracon... the Dracon trade paperback that few have released in the last couple of months and I haven't I haven't got it yet but I'm hoping I might get it soon um, but it's a good story uh, the first cover is done by Antonio Lemos second cover I'm pretty sure is done by um, Jamie Johnson and the third cover is done by Chris Wall beautiful covers beautiful covers Including the Antonio Lemos one. Now you're probably not going to like this, but I will. Let me explain. I'll just show you the cover first. It's got a little bit of damage to it, but I've already shown you this in one of my collection episodes. So let me explain. So, Phantom's World issue number four regular series came out in 2017. Um, this comic actually. It's one of those comics where I was barely a year into my collecting of the Phantom and I didn't know about um, like comic boards, comic bags and all that sort of stuff. So my excuse is that I didn't take as much care as I do with my with the other issues that I have in my collection. Um, obviously down the bottom it's got a bit of water damage and that I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that comic was in one of my school bags at school and I'm pretty sure we were going to some sort of excursion somewhere in another town so and I thought I'd be able to read it like usually I'd be thinking I'll be able to read this there's going to be some time on the bus I'll be able to read it but obviously I didn't and it got water damaged so that's my excuse um, I didn't have enough knowledge about comic boards and comic bags and all that sort of stuff so yeah we have the replica it series number 10 counting down the issues from 1960 and the issues are number 172, 171 and 170. This comic uh, I think is a duplicate from my, the first, the second, this series, it's a duplicate and it's one of the first, well, it's one of the first couple issues I ever got from of the Phantom. Next one is The Challenge, another beautiful cover by Jeremy McPerson and Heart of Darkness, Chapter 3, Part 3 and 4. And the next book is actually one of my absolute favourite 
cover artists. He's one of my it's one of my absolute favourite books, and it is the Full Circle Part One, world exclusive, written and illustrated by Lou Manor, and it is in full colour. Look at that beautiful look, beautiful cover. It's amazing, it's what you call beautiful, and that's what I reckon is my absolute favourite cover of all time. That's what my favourite cover is of all time anyway. Now, we've gotten through this book, this um, sort of box, and I've just picked out some books that I've picked out from an, another box and we'll be going through this box in the next couple of months and let's have a look. So we have The Man With Six Fingers, a Alex Zakovic cover and Heart of Darkness Chapter 4 Part 5. We have another beautiful uh, Jeremy McPerson, Lost at Sea Part 2, The Singing Statues. We have another beautiful cover done by Chris Wall, the female Femi Fatals issue. Four stories including the new Princess Sin Red Dragon prequel. We have The Lady Killer, one of my absolute favourite stories and one of my absolute favourite cover artists, Jason Paulos, who we actually interviewed in the last couple of months, and you can go watch that up here. That's got, yeah, that's got Jack Ripper, you know. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we got another Shane Foley cover, Prisoner Who Didn't Exist. We have The Mask of Death, another beautiful Antonio Lamos cover. Another two part series by Jamie Johnson. It is Black Dagger Part 1, The Ragdoll, and plus Phantom by Gaslight Episode 5. And we have Black Dagger Part 2, beautiful, beautiful covers done by Jamie Johnson. And I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll just leave it there. I hope we'll actually have one more. We'll have a look at one more cover. Another beautiful cover done by Norud, I think, in 2017. It's the Guran Secret, and literally, I didn't even know that Guran even had an evil brother. So that's pretty cool. Um, Guran, this issue, he's getting... Basically, the Gurren's brother is in adven revenge mode and trying to get revenge and trying to kill Gurren himself and the Phantom obviously saves him and all that sort of stuff and all that jeez. Um, and as always, if you would like to subscribe to the Phantom Cave, you can do so down below. Subscribe down below. And as always, we will be in continuing this series as we look at at more covers from what's in my box segments and as always keep phantom caving and we'll see you next time on the phantom cave youtube channel <laughs>